Hi everybody, this is Ezra Parzibach. Uh, I'm a cannabis consultant. You can find me at EzraHelps.com. Today I'm going to talk about cannabis and healthy holiday eating, uh, which may sound like a little bit of a contradiction. We think of cannabis as being uh, the food that makes you have the munchies for Doritos, uh, but that's a stereotype. <laughs> That is uh, the old school version of cannabis, where it was mostly youth and mostly uh, risk-taking youth uh, who uh, imbibed and used cannabis. But I'm trying to bring a whole different approach to cannabis to remind the public that uh, there's a really healthy way of approaching it, that it can actually reduce uh, the intake of things that are more unhealthy. Um, so, uh, remember you can ask questions during my live feed, um, just right underneath there. Um, you can always find me at otherhelps.com. And today I'm going to just do an overview of uh, uh, cannabis and, and healthy eating. And then I'll talk about an approach how we might actually use cannabis and, and get benefits from it around the holidays and eating. And then how we can approach that long term. So, uh, firstly, the holidays are great. You know, there are times where we get together with family and uh, we eat tons of delicious food. But as we all know, this can be stressful too. Even if we love our family and we all subscribe to the same politics, we can stress eat. We're stressed because we're trying to get the tree up. We're stressed because we're trying to get all the presents together. And then there's this enormous buffet of food. <clears throat> so cannabis is fascinating. It is uh, the, the compounds in cannabis are regulators in our system. We can abuse them, you know, we can use uh, cannabis in an unregulated way, but we can actually uh, derive the regulating benefits of cannabis. There's a fascinating long-term study on uh, body mass index, BMI, and cannabis intake. And what they found is that people who used cannabis around three times a week. So this is what I would call a moderate user. Uh, and what they found was their BMI, their body mass index, was a lower average than those who did not use cannabis. And this is a contradiction to the idea that it's an appetite stimulant. We get the munchies when we uh, take cannabis. But it's important to remember that if this compound, if THC, CBD, and the other cannabinoids in cannabis are system regulators, here's what they found. They found that uh, people who uh, tend to have uh, high obesity, it regulates that, it brings that down. The cannabinoids act on the body as uh, almost a policing system and they say, I think you're a little bit too much, you have too much uh, fat in your system. So they seek to bring that down. And those who uh, have low BMI or too low, too skinny, uh, they found that cannabinoids seek to bring that up. So. Um, this is important because uh, our approach to, to using cannabis should come from a place of balance. Um, and we have to use it to stimulate our appetite. That's an important thing. It actually helps to stimulate the digestive juices that are going to process all that intense uh, holiday food uh, that you're taking in. And um, to be reminded that stimulation means we want to stimulate it to do positive things. So that doesn't mean getting a bag of Doritos. Um, <clears throat> it's also a really good time. The reason why I'm doing this segment right now on cannabis and healthy eating is because we're often around the table and uh, talking about politics, talking about health, family, wine is being poured. So when we're, uh, and I know this is the case, I love to drink wine and good alcohol, but I tend to drink more and more and uh, more than I need to, especially at a family gathering. And cannabis actually helps me to reduce the cravings uh, for alcohol. And alcohol is far more fattening and far more severe on the system. So it's a really good time uh, if we're trying to convince our family or if we're trying to bring up this discussion or if old uncle George has inflammation and he drinks too much alcohol and we think maybe if he, should, if he tried the legal cannabis that is available in his state, he might find that he's healthier. It's a great time to have these conversations and talk about this scientific study on BMI, body mass index 
to talk about cannabis's anti-inflammatory effects. So this is all part of the healthy eating um, scenario. Um, this is, it's also really important when we're thinking about cannabinoids and healthy eating that CBD is a fascinating molecule. You know, THC, yes, can regulate, but it does uh, uh, peak our, and stimulate our appetite. CBD, on the other hand, is a, a true regulator. In fact, at high doses, CBD squelches cravings. They've done studies on, on animals and uh, found that um, animals addicted to harsh uh, chemical drugs like nicotine, uh, cocaine, uh, alcohol, uh, with high doses of CBD, uh, their cravings went down. So uh, if you already used CBD uh, in your daily uh, regiment of uh, medical cannabis, then you can actually use CBD at, at higher amounts. You can take, you can say, oh geez, I'm going over uh, to the family, uh, gathering where there's a ton of alcohol, I'm really trying to back off alcohol, and you can go up in your dose of CBD and uh, reduce your cravings. This is not guaranteed, this is not a FDA uh, proven uh, 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 use for the drug CBD. CBD is not an approved FDA drug, so don't take my word for it, <clears throat> but certainly uh, reach out to me uh, at EzraHelps.com if you wanna learn how to do that. Um, and uh, so it's also important if you are a smoker, if you're, if you're just a regular user of cannabis, um, smoking the traditional uh, format, that it's good to, you know, the holidays are a good time to go out and get the strain that has a high uh, amount of CBD in it. So you can just smoke your regular cannabis the way you always do. Uh, maybe you have to go out to the garage if you're at a family gathering and smoke like many people do. Um, but if you have a higher CBD strain, then it's gonna provide a deeper regulatory benefit. Uh, and then finally, <clears throat> this is a, a real trend in the marijuana community um, and harder to manifest in, in our daily uh, uh, regiment, but also uh, harder in dispensaries because they just don't provide, uh, dispensaries don't really provide this. And that is the raw form of cannabis. So when we think about the cannabis plant, uh, it is a very, very uh, complex plant. It has all of the omega oils. Oils are really important for our tissues and our body. And often when we're craving food, especially the, the comfort fatty foods of uh, the holidays, we uh, are craving those fats because our body really needs it. Every cell in our body is made out of oils, lipids. I talk about lipids all the time. Cannabinoids are made out of lipids, our cells are made out of, out of lipids, and oils, healthy oils are made out of lipids. So um, to utilize the cannabis plant in its raw form, uh, you know, you're not gonna get many lipids by smoking a joint, but <clears throat> if you're utilizing uh, and growing your own cannabis, then you can um, deliver more of these health, healthy omega oils from the plant. Uh, as well as protein and antioxidants. So uh, cannabis has as, uh, as much protein as many grains. Um, so it's a very complex, fascinating plant. You can start off your day with a smoothie of, of raw cannabis uh, from, made from leaf and know that you're going to be giving yourself a healthier boost at, at, during those holidays. So <clears throat> let me just touch base uh, with uh, uh, any questions that people might have. Um, feel free to ask underneath. I know it's a big subject, eating and cannabis. Um, and if we have nothing, waiting for my feed to uh, uh, re-up here. Um, if we have nothing, then I'm gonna go into our approach, what we might actually do um, if uh, we wanna utilize uh, some of the regulating effects of cannabinoids. So if you're gonna go for the uh, Dorito uh, munchy route of cannabis, uh, a great way to do that is to smoke pot right before, um, uh, in, in a time where you're not gonna eat a healthy meal. And that's why people go for the snack, they go for the vending machine. So to really approach uh, using cannabis healthily around holiday meals is to take in your, uh, your cannabis before you know you're gonna eat a balanced meal. So right before Thanksgiving dinner, right before Christmas dinner, 
Um, this will stimulate your, your appetite, uh, stimulate your digestion, and then when you go to eat, and if you get a, a stimulation of your appetite, you get the munchies, then you're going to be taking in that, that healthy food. <clears throat> but uh, if you have cannabis in your system and THC, hopefully you won't need as much, uh, uh, there won't be as much craving for those sweets, for the alcohol, because the um, cannabis, the THC, is producing euphoria. It's an artificial uh, release of endorphins in the body, which is what we crave when we get sugar, uh, when we get alcohol, it makes us feel good, right? So if you can take in something that's just inhaled uh, in a smoke form, um, then you're not filling your belly, you're not adding fat to your system or sugar, uh, you, but you're getting the good feelings from it. <clears throat> so. Uh, another approach too, so if you're wary of getting stoned around your family and uh, taking in cannabis and maybe it really does give you the munchies, is to microdose. So you can actually wake up on the morning of uh, a big meal or a big family gathering and start taking in, and I prefer oils, remember the lipids are so important, so I like to infuse cannabinoids in oils, and you start microdosing. So this is to take oils into your system at a very, very low dose starting early in the day. And you don't uh, feel a cognitive impairment. You're not setting out to get stoned from your oils. You are uh, just filling the be belly with these healthy uh, oils that are the carrier, an olive oil or coconut oil, and uh, as well as your cannabinoids. So you're, if, if getting high is, brings you to a 10, for example, when you smoke marijuana, then you might be just at a two or three uh, when you take in light microdosing of oils. And this will uh, decrease the anxiety, the social anxiety, the stress that might come with, with the holiday uh, gathering or holiday eating, and allow you to, to be more calm and resilient so that you don't stress eat. I know if I go to a party and I don't know anybody there, I just go to the, the food table and start eating. But if I take cannabis, and I'm comfortable with the effects of THC, so if I'm using cannabis, I'll find that uh, my social anxiety is reduced and I don't need to eat as much, so that's great. Um, I also like oils versus smoking because oils are going to be a slow release. They're going to go into the gut. This is where we actually uh, have to process all the holiday food. So when the oils are in there, they're softening tissues, they're uh, allowing lubrication to occur throughout the GI tract, they're bringing down inflammation if you have IBS or Crohn's or colitis or any kind of inflammatory disease in your bowels. So oils and cannabis are really great. Um, and when social anxiety goes down and our stress of, of being at the party, then their stress eating will, will hopefully go down as well. <clears throat> so um, finally, I'm going to uh, talk about the long-term benefits. So if we start to initiate this and think about healthy holiday, holiday eating and then just eating in general, and how we might get the benefits of a reduced BMI or a regulated BMI is to grow your own cannabis. So uh, we're now over 30 states in, in, in the United States that allow medical marijuana. Uh, not all of them uh, allow growing uh, cannabis, personal homegrown cannabis, which is very unfortunate because this is the best way to access uh, the widest benefits of cannabis. You can use the raw form, you can use the raw plant, you really get to know the plant. And uh, when you grow your own, then you can utilize these leaves for the juicing. You can um, create raw cannabinoids. When we take in raw cannabinoids, THCA, we're still getting a regulatory benefit. We're still getting an anti-inflammatory benefit. Our gut might not be uh, as inflamed, but you're not high. Uh, so you can take your plant, mash up leaves, uh, mash up the buds on the plant, infuse them into an oil and make your own little, um, you know, here's an oil. Uh, this is a one ounce of uh, cannabinoid oil that's raw plant. So it's not designed to actually get anyone high. And the THC benefits, uh, are THCA benefits 
are really specifically designed for uh, the anti-inflammatory, anti the pain-reducing uh, effects. And taken in as an oil in your gut, you're going to uh, hit those receptors that tell you that you're uh, full or not. Um, oils will, uh, will allow you to eat less food. So if you're curious about growing and you live in an area where you are allowed to, to grow it legally, um, then reach out to me. It's a fascinating and fun way to access this incredible medicine. All right, um, uh, that basically concludes our healthy eating and cannabis. Uh, over the holidays. I hope everyone has a really great Christmas or Hanukkah or a Ramadan or whatever you're celebrating and a happy new year. And remember that cannabinoids can be a really balancing and regulating healthy aspect to, uh, to eating. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, go to EzraHelps.com. Uh, I, if I could remember what my weeks, uh, next week's, um, uh, lecture was going to be on, I would tell you, uh, and you can look at it uh, and sign up for my mailing list at EzraHelps.com to, to learn what that is, um, or touch base uh, back in with my uh, Facebook group. I also have Ezra Helps Facebook group, which is a, um, a private space for people to meet and talk about uh, cannabis and uh, all things medical marijuana. So reach out there as well, and thank you all so much for joining. Take care.